Hi everybody, so I want you to take a look today at these colors. Last video we talked about transition colors and this video we're going to talk about not using transition colors. So these are all the colors that I used and you can see in this mix, you can pause it if you need to write them down, but you can see in this mix I use absolutely no green, none. I didn't use any transition colors either when I made my cup. And what I mean by a transition color, that's when you mix two colors in between each color to kind of bridge the gap between the colors. Um, or it could be a white or a black, which would also be a good transition color. Um, the point of using transition colors is to avoid muddy pores or to avoid the colors that you do not want to get. So in this video, in this painting, I show you, I just layer all the colors right on top of each other and I don't use any transition colors whatsoever, but I purposefully use colors that I think are going to go good together. Um, and what the outcome ends up being is although no green whatsoever was used in here there's a lot of green in fact the painting is like 50% green and that's because see that yellow right there there's tons of yellows the Indian yellow the gold yellow the brat the yellow that's in the brass that I made um, nickel azo gold is like an orange a red and yellow and then tons of blues. The Payne's Gray is kind of a blue, the Anthacrinone blue, the Cobalt blue. And I didn't layer anything in between those, so I know that I'm going to do a flip cup. So I know that when I do a flip cup, they're all going to mix together. And, you know, that's one of the beauties of a flip cup is you get these amazing, really unpredictable results sometimes, but all the colors are gonna to mix together, so you do have to be careful about which colors you decide to use. So I don't do a lot of flip cups, but I thought it would be fun. Actually, I think my friend Mina, she challenged me to do a flip cup, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna see. So I did a big, it's a 16 by 20 canvas, I believe. And I just did a flip cup, no silicone or anything. And it actually has a little suction going on right there because I used that uh, silicone cup. And then I just made my little swirl. Look at the cup. Oh, isn't the cup pretty? Oh my gosh, I wish I got that. <laughs> It's funny how sometimes the cup looks so amazing or my balloon sometimes will look amazing when I do like a balloon roll or my board, the paint on my board. Um, so I am I'm going so ridiculously slow on the tilting. It doesn't even look like I'm tilting. <laughs> wait, actually, wait, am I tilting? Uh, no. Okay. Sorry, I'm not tilting, but I know that in this video I did go ridiculously slow for the tilting because I was trying to preserve some of those beautiful little perfect round cells. And that's one of the ways to preserve those cells is to go really, really slow when you tilt. So this injection technique originated with, um, at least from what I know, um, Elise Fournier and I just injected some regular paint under there, some regular white paint. There's nothing special, no satin enamel, no milk paint, um, just plain old good artist loft white. But it still popped through and made some really pretty cells in there. But look how much green came through. <laughs> There's tons. Now, I know that the I know turquoise has green in it, obviously, but 
the amount of green that came out in the painting, considering there was none in the cup, tells you that all the different yellows mixed with the blue made the green. And then you got that beautiful, look at that deep, rich olive tone. Now I decided I didn't preserve enough of the yellows and oranges. I really wanted that on there, so I decided to do another flip cup. And the other reason is because I didn't have quite enough paint on my board. If I did try to stretch it out, I would have ruined uh, not only that beautiful um, batch of cells in the center, this is what I'm thinking at the time, right? But there's also, and you'll see, there's like this gorgeous little cropping of cells on the left of that painting over there that kind of looks like butterfly wings or stained glass. It's hard to see uh, there, right where my hand is. The green and yellow, those cells. I thought that was the most interesting part of this painting and I did everything in my power to preserve it. So I was very careful with my blow dryer and decided to go through my airbrush. I have a little bit more control over that. Oh, I haven't painted in a week. Um, I'm going through something personal and it's hard. Life is such a challenge, isn't it? And thank God we have art and beauty. I really have enjoyed this part of my life, just getting to do art like this. It's been uh, such a blessing to me. Um, it's been a beautiful avenue and it's not that I haven't always done art. I've done some kind of art off and on my whole life. Cooking, I'm a chef. For those of you that don't know, blackradish.net is my chef site and my food is definitely beautiful works of art. Um, I've been a musician. I play the flute. I was a classically trained flautist and I played the flute my whole life and sometimes I break that out and play it and I used to produce music so I had a music studio in my house for a while and I used to produce music it was really fun so I've done a lot of creative things in my life but this is the first time I've really really tried to do, you know, one of my uh, paintings, I guess I'd say it painting as an actual um, business, and it's been interesting. So that's Golden High Flow, and I'm just, I put it in there, and then I'm like, ugh, there's something the painting to me just, I don't know, you know, <laughs> it has to speak to me. Now I'm going to try to s everything I can to save those beautiful cells up on the upper left, um, those butterfly type cells, and the cells up on the right, I really love those too. And actually after I swipe the high flow golden high flow gold I love the way that looks I'm loving it I'm loving the gold I'm trying to figure out how with a square tool to fit that into the round peg uh, but I just decided to go for it and see what happens anyway oh I just end up with a triangle which I knew I would now I love that because look how all the dark blue from that comes out underneath um, you know, you just can't be afraid to try something new. Um, this painting, I really wasn't sure. I kept going and going and it wasn't jazzing me completely. But like a lot of my paintings, I'll just not stop until 
there's absolutely no other choice and then something magical will happen. <laughs> so that's pretty much what happens a lot. So I want to take a second and say thanks you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And I hope you learned something from every video, and if not, I hope it's just an enjoyment for you. Because I do enjoy sharing these uh, creations with you and taking you on these journeys. At the end of this painting, I would say that what it ended up looking like to me was this beautiful uh, waterfall coming down over some plants, um, flowers maybe, underneath the water. So there's me doing my balloon rolls. You know, one thing I want to point out, see how muddy it's getting down there? Because we're mixing reds and greens together now um, and you know that can be kind of a muddy little process but I think there's enough color and interest in the painting that it survives that little bit look at that little detail right there there's just lots of little beautiful details in this painting that I really like and it's very, very shimmery. The gold high flow is gorgeous. I mean, it just truly, truly pops when it's dried. Look at that fun flower, how it dried. Um, so this is the, re the dried result. It hasn't been varnished or anything, so when I do varnish it, it's just gonna pop even more. Very pretty. Lots of interest, very flowy and watery. Anyway, thank you so much for watching you guys. Please support my channel if you'd like. There's a PayPal link in my description box. And as always, I can't wait to make more art videos for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you.